Hello, welcome to Shadow Appliances Repair. I've got a very old dryer here that I'm working on. I switched that with another dryer. The customer said that it wasn't heating no more, wasn't working properly. So I went ahead and had another one that I had fixed up and switched them out. And the belt looks pretty good. I haven't checked any of the heating elements yet. I haven't even tried to pull it out yet. I just got this far advanced to it. Uh, the, uh, where you call them where the, it rolls on it is wore out. So that's two things that's got to be replaced. I don't know about the heating element yet in the back of it yet. Um, and I got to vacuum it all out and clean it up. It is pretty dirty. And then uh, there's the heat note things sticking out there. So I got to check them. I got to check this, these thermos fuses. And then another thing that I did notice that uh, looking upon it, it was not actually tied in properly. It wasn't uh, screwed in. I mean, you know, these screws would move around so. It wasn't in there properly. It should have been up from underneath it. There's this big piece right here that it actually, it's got a hole right here in the middle of it and it pushed up this way. So this is not put on right at all. So, I mean, that could be the problem right there. But I went ahead and uh, changed it anyway because there is not very many parts for this one. But it is still a very good dryer. So, I mean, it is, you know, still in good condition. So far, I have not found any problems with it by looking at it, except for the only two problems that I've seen. That is these rollers. It, uh, well, it's not rollers. It's uh, basically where it helps to you know spin it around. It is wore out, as I can tell. But uh, I am getting ready to hopefully loosen the belt up and see if I can pull it out and look at the heating element and see what the heating element looks like so I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down and see how this works so I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down I got all the noise All right, looks like on this model I will have to go in here and unscrew them and then be able to pull the whole unit out because this unit is the one that, oh, it's a pain. I was hoping it would come out easy, but it won't. So, I got to get a tool that do that. Boy, I just, uh, see, it's on my big set here. And it is, I think that's my small one. My big one is. Well, that might be too big, actually. Alright, I'll see that one. Sometimes I don't like doing it this way, but there's no other way of doing it. And it does get to be a pain in the butt to try to, you know, do it by yourself and, you know, tighten them up. Alright, I'm gonna 
put you guys down real quickly so I can figure out what kind of a big mess I got. It's pretty dirty there. As you can see, there is not really no damage that I can see to the heating element. So that is a plus. Huh. It is a very, very weird heating element. Your heating element replacement used GT GE part. We with W eleven X sixty. So probably the main problem is it wasn't probably heat or it wasn't uh, the wiring wasn't in there right, and then these really wore out. That's the only really thing I can see. No problem with it. And other than that, it seems fine. I know the belt kind of wore out a little bit though, it looks like. Or the pulley. And other than that, I mean, it don't look too bad. The GE part. Or dryer. Well, that's pretty much about it. I have today. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.